top of the AM. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, well, you know how I start my day. Thank God for the wake up. Thank God for the wake up. Thank God for the wake up. Hey, it's Luis Lopez, and thank you for tuning in to Talking Cancer, My Journey, My Way. Uh, you can find me every day, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m., on all your streaming services, whether it's Apple, Pandora, Spotify, iHeartRadio, you name it, I'm on it. Um, and we talk cancer. We talk cancer. We talk about uh, colon cancer um, majority of the time, um, my way of dealing and coping, um, and different things that we could do just in general in life to help better your situation uh, with stress and dealing with the day-to-day norms of uh, a disease such as this. Uh, For those that don't know and are just tuning in for the first time, welcome. Uh, I am Lewis and I am dealing with stage 4 colorectal metastatic cancer, uh, meaning that it has gone from my colon, now it's in my liver, and also in my lymph nodes. Um, but here I am, and I'm talking to you, uh, being vulnerable, and letting you know my day-to-day dealings. Uh, just being me. So on that note, yesterday um, I was speaking uh, along the lines of laws of attraction, Um, And I kind of want to continue that sentiment um, and talk about positive thinking because the laws of attraction and deal with the way you think. Uh, Also, you know, if you think negative, negative, you're going to, you're going to attract the negative. If you think positive, you're going to attract the positive, but we're going to focus on the positive because that's how I choose to, um, gear my mentality. Um, it's just the way it is for me. Um, and if you believe in the laws of attraction, then positivity is what everybody should need, right? That's what I think. Um, just to and just to let you know that there are some positive benefits, health benefits to positive thinking. Okay, and researchers have continued to explore the effects of positive thinking and optimism on health, and some of those and some of those benefits provide uh, an increased lifespan. Uh, it could lower rates of depression lower levels of stress and pain um, could also reduce risk of death from cancer. Hey, I'm down with that, right? That uh, could reduce risk of death from respiratory conditions um, and give you better coping skills during hardships in times of stress. It's not quite clear from what I've seen and read, it's not quite clear why people who engage in positive thinking experience these health benefits. Um, how can we identify some of the negative thinking? You know, when we go through this thing, when we're when we come, when we have to deal with something, we, you know, we we self talk. You might not do it out loud, but we do self-talk. I know I do. But how do you filter this stuff? You know, how do do you, are you the type of person that uh, magnifies the negative aspect? You know, or do you downgrade it? Do you look at the cup uh, half empty versus half full type of thing? You know? Like, oh my God, the cup is half empty already. You know, do you do that kind of thing? You know, um, do you personalize things? 
meaning when something bad may happen, do you automatically blame yourself? You know? Think about, you know, these are all ways to cope. You know what I mean? So ways that people cope and sometimes it becomes so automatic that you don't even realize you do it anymore. You know, how that started, I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, lots of it probably has to do with upbringing and things like that. But, you know, things things happen and they're, you don't, they're not always your fault. So don't, don't do that. You know, definitely could help out with some of the, you know, changing your attitude and, and leaning towards uh, a positive way of thinking. Um, do you automatically go to blaming someone else? You know, when something happens, you know, you automatically, even though it might be your fault, do you try to find the fault where, hey, no, 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 it was, it was, it was their fault. Not taking responsibility um, for what happened, you know? Or are you the type of person that saying you should do something? You know, um, do you think of all the things you should do and blame yourself for not doing them? You know, do you magnify things? Do you make a big deal out of little situations? You know, I think that's a huge one. We take things way out of proportion. I know I've been, I've done that before. I could admit that. Um, and it's really not that big. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. You dropped a glass of water. You know, it's an accident. Right? That's it. We don't have to blow up. We don't have to get mad. We don't have to do any of that. All we're doing is increasing our stress level. And if you are sick, even if you're not, it doesn't really matter. But the less you can stress yourself out, the better. You know? Um, are you a perfectionist? This could be very stressful. This could be a form of negative thinking. Because keeping impossible standards... And trying to be more perfect can set yourself up for falling, for failure. You know, these are ways to identify negative thinking. You know, are you doing any of these things? And if you are, try to fix that. And lean more towards the positive side. Because you could have definitely have some health benefits um, for you, your body, and even the people around you. Because the less you're stressed, you're stressed. You know, think about the people you encounter when you're are, when you are stressed. You know, whether it could be your kids or whatever, mom, dad, whatever. If you're stressed. Think about the stress that you put on them when you're stressed. You know what I mean? It has a trickle-down effect, for real. There are so many ways to, to change positive thinking, to change to positive thinking, you know, and to identify areas to change. Um, if you want to become more optimistic and engage in more positive thinking, first think of areas of your life that usually that you usually would think negatively. 
doesn't matter where it's at. And I've been practicing this um, a lot uh, lately, even more so looking at things just in a different light where, you know, it could be my morning commute, uh, my daily task at work, how I deal with home situations, how much I let things bother me, or do I let them roll off? Because in the in the in the grand scheme of things, they're not really that bad, you know. Unless somebody really truly cuts you off, you know what I mean. Like, but if it, you know, you got to think of accidents, things not like in an accident where two cars collide, but just human error. We do it all the time. Why can't we expect for the man driving next to us to be making a human error when he's driving? So let's not, you know, overhype things. Relax. Realize they just made a human mistake, you know, unless they're just doing something crazy like bobbing in and out of traffic, then they're doing something intentionally. But, you know, Sometimes we get an occasional, an occasional, where some occasion where someone tries to, you know, almost sideswipes us or something like that. Didn't look in their rearview mirror. I know I've done it. You know, oops, my bad. Sorry. You know, try not to flip people off. Maybe you could start there. You know. Get out the situation, turn your music back up, start singing. You know. Um, be open to humor. When focusing on positive thinking, be open to humor. Give yourself permission to smile or laugh. Especially through difficult times. You know. It's crazy because I find myself laughing about a lot of things, about a lot of little silly things. I've had family, friends, members, whatever, and I would laugh about a situation that might have been tough to, to deal with back maybe at that time, but that old saying, you look back at it and laugh. I do that. You know, sometimes, you know, it might not be funny to somebody else, but I find it funny because I could look at the humor in it. I could see the humor in it. And it's okay now. You know, it's over. And it doesn't have to be the stressful situation that it was. At that time, it's over, and we can look back at it and laugh. Um, well, we know we're doing. I'm doing this now, and but for you, um, and I'm proof in the pudding right now is a, a healthier, healthier lifestyle. Uh, I am currently going through a more healthier life, so more rigorous uh, lifestyle, you know, going, attempting to go, and remember I said attempting, attempting to go more plant-based, if not completely plant-based. Um, right now, been successful, so that's good. But yeah, that's where it's been, what, since the beginning of the week, so since Monday, so five days of completely plant-based, which is awesome, or what, four days, I think, maybe, something like that. Yeah, I feel good about it, um, but a healthier lifestyle includes, you know, um, try to aim to exercise, get your blood flowing. I feel like I walk quite a bit a day. I probably could get more exercise in, like say at the gym or just going out with the family and walking and enjoying um, the day or the evening. 
Um, so, you know, that's something that I think I'll probably try to implement more um, just as a family, just to get out and and just take a little little hike, you know. Doesn't even have to be much. Just, you know, just little, just a little bit more exercise in your day could be definitely uh, lean. Could definitely lean you more towards uh, the positive side of things. Um, we talked about this yesterday. The laws of attraction. Try to surround yourself around more positive people. You know, and that conversation, those conversations that you have with yourself. Remember, you're the narrator of that. So your narration of whatever you you're saying to yourself can be more positive. Talk to yourself more positive. Make sure your self talks are more more positive. You know, don't say anything to yourself that you wouldn't say to anyone else you know positive thinking is is definitely huge um, when it comes to the total being of who you are and if you're thinking um, on a more total being aspect the more positive you are the more the better outlook you have on things, the better you, the better you talk to people, um, all these different things. Guess what that? Guess what that does? Without you even knowing, it makes you and gets you closer to God. Hey, I'm just saying it like it is. Continue to have positive affirmations. Continue to be positive. Continue to strive. Continue to treat people better. Continue to do all of these things. And positivity will start to consume you. I could feel that. I could feel the energy. I could feel it. The laws of attraction are truly working at this particular point in my life. Um, But if I could help you any, because, you know, dealing with cancer is not the easiest thing to do. But I see so many positive things that have come from me having cancer. You know, because I'm not focused on the disease itself, but I'm focused on all the things that, it, all the ways that it has, it has changed me, the way that I've embraced things more, embrace myself, embrace the people around me, embrace my vulnerability, um, just all of these things, these changes that have happened because of cancer. My relationship with God has grown. All of these things. So just continue, and I continue to pray for you and pray for others, pray for the world that we have a better outlook on things. The better we can have, the more we can have a better outlook on things, the better the world will be. Positivity. 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 Let that be etched in your brain for the day. It's TGIF. Be positive about that. Yes. You know, some some people are getting paid today. Hey, some people get off early. Whatever it is, whatever the case may be, start your day on a good day. This is Lewis. I'm tapping out. And um, that's my time. So peace, love, one.